Warning, what you're about to watch may be a bit of a shock. An infection is spreading all over the world by COVID-20. When put under a microscope, dirt-like bumps are infecting the planet. Tasmania, England, USA, Canada, and it's spreading fast. And now I have by COVID-20. First your hands start to shake and you just want to grab something. For me, it was my digger. I just couldn't stop. And then you get this irresistible urge to watch YouTube and watch other people with the same problem, digging holes, digging jumps, everywhere, destroying paddocks. It was just out of control. Something had to be done before the whole world got sucked down a dirty big dirt jump hole. For the love of mountain biking, On a serious note, I can't believe just how much information you can get on YouTube these days. I even know what types of soil to use, from clay to sand, what's better for building with, what's better for finishing it off with. Man, it is crazy what I've learned in this lockdown period. I'm actually really enjoying lockdown, down here on the farm with Harry and the chickens and the ducks. Anyhow, let's get stuck into this project. Hope you enjoy it. Day two of the jump build. Been working pretty hard, haven't we, mate? We've uh, come down here now. We're just shaping up this. Starting to get a nice bit of shape. And you have a look at this. Like, we've got a tabletop here. It's about three metres between here and here. And it just goes straight down there. It's just going to be epic to launch off the top of this bit over here. So this is pretty high speed coming down off the top of the hill here and into this big dipper it's going to be really nice to do some like motocross flowy sort of stuff thanks for tuning into our channel i hope uh who's got the who's got the jumps on the side of the road harry uh jake jake, yeah. jake i hope you're getting busy in your time off school eli hope you're behaving yourself <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we miss you, mate. It'd be awesome to have you here working on these tracks, these jumps with us. Pretty A grade quality clay here. It's actually perfect. Look at that. Just goes down so nice. Just like pottery class back at school. Pottery class. Have you done pottery class yet, Harry? Uh, not yet. Not yet. It's an exciting time, folks. Um, I've just had a delivery from Australia Post. It's only five days late, but that's not bad, seeing as though we're in lockdown. Uh, so we're just heading up to the road now to go and check the letterbox. It's grips, and I've been looking so forward to getting these grips. Here's our letterbox. Have we got a package? Yes, we do, folks. Who's it from, Harry? Pushies.com. Phew! Let's go down and rip these suckers open and put them on the bike. Anyhow, we'll open the package a little bit later on in the film. Can't wait. It's day three of our build, and we've just come across a, a problem that can become a bit of a major issue, actually. We've dug into an underwater spring, so that means that our work that we did last night isn't even gonna dry out. Come down here and we'll have a look at this. So, you see just how wet and muddy this is. Give us that phone here, Harry. I'll show everybody. Oh, I wouldn't go in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slop city. Yeah. And you can actually see it flowing. 
So this is a problem. We didn't expect this, but anyhow, that's just the way it's gonna be. Stay tuned. You zapped yourself on the electric fence. This here, guys, is electrified. I just put my head on it. I just got electrocuted on the head. Anyhow, thanks for turning the electricity off, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get the water to drain away from it. We've got 115 millimetres of rain and it's just pouring out of the uh, side of the damn wall there. So what we're going to do is we'll go over this jump and then down to the to jump number two and we'll build a bit of a berm there and we'll go down alongside the dam and build all jumps down that way. Anyhow, on with the show. So this is where we're up to, YouTubers. We've got our high speed jump over here, coming down here into this big berm here. She's a decent sized berm, that one. Into this pump bump, this pump bump, then up onto this. This is all going to be flat all across here to about here. And then we're gonna build like a North Shore sort of drop in bridge here. So we need to build two post holes, one here, one here, and what that'll do is, that'll give us the elevation that we need here to have a big sort of drop in section here. Uh, and then, all through here, we're going to be building North Shore while we're in this lockdown. That's all gonna be North Shore around the top of that there. So, we have our two holes now. Now it's time to go up into the top paddock and see if we can find some big posts to go in there. Got our concrete mix. Harry, let's fill her up. A bit of water in there. That's it. Nice big poles, guys. Nice big strong posts. Cool, so what we've done is we've got this nice. Oh, there's, there's old mate. Look, see old mate there? Old mate. Off you go, old mate. So anyhow, what we've done is we've flattened this off. We're going to put a beam across here so that we can run our um, bigger beams across this way. And we'll be able to bolt this whole lot together. So we want it all to be as level as possible. It's not like we're building a house, but still, we still want to go reasonably close to perfect. I know how to use a chainsaw, wouldn't you, Harry? Look at that. Okay. Oh, a blind man would be happy to see that. So, we've got this rod. Rod's better than using bolts because you can just cut it off at the length you need because all timbers are going to be a different length. And we'll cut that off there. Do that up nice and tight and you're done. Go and do your other side. Yep. When you're drilling these, don't just keep forcing the drill bit in. Pull it out to clear the auger bit, otherwise you're just going to seize it all up. So keep it, keep your auger bit nice and close. Look at that. Big, like a nice 
want to speak deeper, just here. It's going to be sweet. Really excited. 45 years old and I feel like I'm 18. Get busy with your kids. Where'd you find him, Harry? Amazing. So we're having a good time. It's been a few hours today, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Let's go home. Oh, it's just there. One day of track building left. Are you excited? I'm very excited. One day to go, guys, and then it's ride day. You. Anyhow, the sun's going down on a beautiful afternoon. Hope you enjoyed Bike COVID 20 number one. Stay tuned as we're gonna bring you by COVID 20 number two in just one day. And we will finally get to enjoy riding this awesome trail that we've been building. Till next time, see you later.